A revolutionary electronic aircraft propulsion system inspired by Star Trek has been tested on a working model for the first time. The 5-meter wingspan glider-like plane has no propellers, turbines or any other moving parts, and is completely silent. Instead, an ionic wind of colliding electrically charged air molecules provides the thrust needed to make it fly. It could eventually prove to be the future of air travel, bringing an end to the noise nightmare of living under a flight path or close to a major airport. And unlike conventional planes, it also produces no greenhouse gases or other pollutants. In the near future, ion wind propulsion could be employed to power quiet drones, the team predicts. Further down the line, the technology could be paired with more conventional propulsion systems to produce highly fuel-efficient hybrid passenger planes. Lead researcher Dr. Stephen Barrett, from Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the U.S., said, This is the first ever sustained flight of a plane with no moving parts in the propulsion system. This has potentially opened new and unexplored possibilities for aircraft which are quieter, mechanically simpler, and do not emit combustion emissions. He revealed that he was partly inspired by the TV sci-fi series Star Trek, which he watched avidly as a child. He was especially impressed by the show's futuristic shuttle crafts that skimmed through the air producing hardly any noise or exhaust. This made me think, in the long-term future, planes shouldn't have propellers and turbines, said Dr. Barrett. They should be more like the shuttles in Star Trek that have just a blue glow and silently glide. The test aircraft, described in the journal Nature, carries an array of thin wires strung beneath the front end of its wings. These wires, which carry a positive charge of 20,000 volts, strips electrons, which have a negative charge, from air molecules. The cloud of positively charged molecules left behind rush towards negatively charged wires at the back of the plane. As they flow towards the negative charge, the ions collide millions of times with other air molecules, creating the thrust that pushes the aircraft forward. One of the biggest challenges was designing a power supply that would generate 40,000 volts from the plane's battery output. The team is working on ways of producing more ionic wind with less voltage. Test flights were made across the gymnasium at MIT's DuPont Athletic Center, the largest indoor space the scientists could find. Dr. Barrett said, it took a long time to get here. Going from the basic principle to something that actually flies was a long journey of characterizing the physics, then coming up with the design and making it work. Now the possibilities for this kind of propulsion system are viable.